Here is an AMI This Week shortcut with Grant Hardy. A few months ago, we ran a segment on a fantastic new soup hitting the store shelves. Most people say when they taste that soup, it's like, hey, this tastes like, like home. My name is Art Sherman Hess. I'm the CEO of Goodly Foods. So Goodly Foods is a Vancouver-based organization and we are using surplus foods, so foods that would otherwise go to waste, that are available and really, uh, I would say, deliciously repurpose them into products that, uh, that we, can, uh, we can enjoy again. The tomato vegetable soup is the company's first product and is already being distributed to food banks and retail outlets in the region. It really feels like a lifetime ago that we were introduced to Goodly Foods, but in reality, uh, it was a very recent story. But with COVID-19 affecting food security, it seemed like a great time to check in with Goodly Foods CEO Art Shukraman S. from home. Hi Art, how are you doing? I'm doing really well, Grant. It's great to, to be connected again. First of all, remind me why Goodly Foods is unique. I think in, in two ways. First of all, we use foods that would normally not make it to market. And then at the same time, the people that, who make our soups are all individuals with barriers to traditional employment. So Goodly Foods is really trying to address food waste on the one hand and giving people an opportunity to reestablish themselves after, after a very difficult time. Art, how has COVID-19 affected the supply of surplus foods that you can use? A lot of restaurants are closed. A lot of uh, sports venues have closed. So think about a potato farmer. There's not a lot of um, French fries being consumed right now. So there's a large amount of potatoes available. There's a large amount of root vegetables still available. We have a great partner in BC Fresh. They are very generous uh, in, in providing us with, uh, with, with surplus foods. You know, this is tough on every business and organization, COVID. How is Goodly Foods managing? Uh, the pandemic really hit us hard. In mid-March, I thought Goodly is not going to make it. We saw sales decline, um, but we, uh, we found uh, alternative work. It's a contract that we um, received from the city of Vancouver in the production of meals for people who are living in SROs in the downtown east side of Vancouver. You know, when you go into that neighborhood on a daily basis, of course you really see poverty uh, firsthand and people who are really marginalized. So we've been really happy that we could contribute to the well-being of the individuals living in that neighborhood. I remember visiting the production facility when we shot the segment and meeting some of the staff. How are they doing? You know, the team has been doing really, really well. Um, because of the additional production, we were fortunate to, I would say, to, to hire a few more people um, during the last seven weeks, which is just a wonderful thing. And um, they've been making those meals um, with great spirits each and every day. Um, I've had one day off since the beginning of April, and so did many of my colleagues uh, in the facility. Uh, maybe you can touch on some of the safety measures that you're taking at the Goodly Foods production facility. So to give you an example, we are in a shared facility. Um, you've been there, and um, so we have someone who's cleaning doorknobs and, and entranceway on a daily basis. Um, there, is a, there is now a mechanism that when you walk into the facility that your feet are, um, are sprayed with sanitizer. And of course, the first thing that we do when we come in is to wash our hands. Um, when we are assembling meals and we're producing meals, we wear face masks, we have uniforms, so we are well protected. And really what's important, we are distancing, um, you know, we're keeping a safe distance from each other. And, and, and food safety is on everybody's mind. Why is this work important to you? Uh, when I see people living on the streets, um, there is an urge in me to help them one way or the other. And, um, you know, when you connect with, with them on the street, um, they're just our neighbors. And they're not strange people, but they're, they're, they're lovely people. And they have a, a wonderful story to tell. 
Oh, that's great. That's great. Well, I'm, I'm really glad to hear things are going well. And thank you so much for your time. It was really great to speak to you today. And, uh, and thank you for checking in. I really appreciate it. And I would say have a goodly, uh, a goodly evening. <laughs>